All right, another Ask Mark episode here at Blue Glow Electronics. A question I've been getting a lot lately, ever since I've completed the single-ended 807 um, amplifier build uh, series as well as the KT88 uh, series. The question has been, hey Mark, I notice in some of your restoration videos and your build videos, you use some type of tubing to basically cover your component leads um, as you're wiring up an amplifier or repairing it, um, perhaps replacing coupling caps, things of that nature. And um, I thought I'd show you here, this is the underside of the uh, single-ended 807. And you can see here, um, you can see this blue tubing I have used um, to kind of uh, cover the open and exposed leads of each of the components here in this environment. Um, and the reason I do that is kind of uh, twofold, okay? First and foremost, um, you know, you can see these two wires I've got running right here. Well, they're running right across deep on top of each other and they're for two different sizes of the circuit. So if these two wires were to actually touch each other, it, really bad things would happen in this circuit. So it's a layer of insulation. It's actually uh, Teflon tubing, um, PTFE, otherwise known as, and um, it's a layer of insulation. That is the number one primary reason for this. Secondary reason that um, that I could see you might want to do this is just the aesthetics of it all. I thought the, uh, the blue lead dressing here along with these yellow caps just turned out to make a uh, kind of beautiful little amplifier section here. So, um, you know, if you're into how your uh, your amplifiers look, um, you know, it might be one of the things you're chasing. But at any rate, the question is, where do I get this stuff and what sizes do I use? Well, I, I'll show you where I get it and I'll show you the sizes that I use. I don't know if th this is certainly not the only place to get this tubing. Um, so some of you guys may know other sources. If so, post it down in the comments. Um, and you may use other sizes, but these three sizes seem to be kind of a catch-all for me. They cover about everything I've ever done. So not saying you won't have some scenario where you need something different. But um, all right, let me show you what, what I uh, what I. Okay, first and foremost, um, I use Teflon PTFE tubing, and these are the three sizes that I keep on my bench. 0.7 millimeter, and this is inner diameter. So this is the inner... Um, dimensions of the tube itself, uh, not the outer diameter. I use 0.7 millimeter, I use 0.9 millimeter, and I use 1.1 millimeter ID. Uh, the 1.1 I use on larger components, maybe power resistors where the leads are getting pretty big. The 0.9 um, I use on a lot of um, resistors and things, uh, coupling caps, and then the 0.7 sometimes when you're getting into to uh, smaller devices like uh, transistor leads, uh, things of that nature, where they're getting pretty fine, uh, maybe LED leads, things of that nature. So these are the three sizes that I use. All right, so if you'll just go on eBay here, and you can see up here, um, I put in my search category PTFE tube, and I put 0 0.7 millimeter. And what has popped up here is, um, here you have this 0 0.07, you can see it says ID for inner diameter, and it says the outer diameter will be about one millimeter. And you can say, hey, I need three meters, which is, you know, going to be about 10 feet there for you. So that's a good bit of this. Um, and then you can pick the color you want, yellow, red, blue, black, um, transparent. I use a lot of the transparent. Um, it just depends, but you kind of pick that. And if you'll notice, uh, you can get three meters. I usually order more like five or ten meters just to have a good bit of it on hand. But you can see you can get um, even ten meters is only five dollars and six cents. And that's free shipping here from China. I will tell you, it'll take you about two to three weeks for this actually to show up. So I would actually, if I were you, I would, um, I would probably order this and then order the other sizes and just wait. It will show up. And I do the same thing here for the 0.9, and uh, you can see here this is 0.9, outer diameter 1.2. There again, pick your color. And this just, um, you know, there's a couple different vendors, dealers here that seem to carry the same stuff. Um, it, it's all worked out well for me in the past. This is, uh, let's see, you get 8 meters here for, uh, let's go with the translucent here, $3.33 plus $2 shipping. 
any rate, you're going to have 10 or 15 bucks in getting all you would ever want to uh, to kind of do around your your shop. And you can do the same search for the 1.1 millimeter. But um, I've gotten this question a lot, and every time people uh, email me, I have to go dig up and kind of respond to them. So I just thought I'd make a quick video on it. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, hopefully you'll be dressing up your amplifiers and restorations and, uh, and uh, making them safer and uh, more attractive there.